Hey guys, it's Jamie here. I'm back to do the second page of the altered book and the journal with me. This time we're going to do a collage page because this is quite bulky now. Therefore, we will be doing no writing on this page. Let's start over here with some bits and pieces from some of Emma's free printables that are in the Facebook group. The link to join that group is in the video description. We've also set this up as an event in the group. There will be more free printables and I will also include links to Emma's full kits. So you can take a look at the whole thing and I'll probably be using bits from the full kits as well. Initially, I'm just going to cover up everything that's already on here and try to do an autumn theme, countryside theme collage. Just something pretty to look at. I have here is some bits from the scrap box and printables I have, some of Emma's, covering the whole thing in a similar color way. I am going to cover the plant. If I add a plant, it will be from one of the spare pages. I might tear a bit more off this one. I'll need some vintage photo to edge it with. Some plainish paper here. That's just coffee stained and again edged in vintage photo. Okay, let's trim this one up. I'll tear along that. Could probably edge this and put it in this corner at the bottom. Oh, we've got a load of straight lines now. Hold on. I have some material actually that could be added for a naturalish look. To add the material, I'll use a silicon glue. Might even be able to tack some threads underneath so they look a bit like trees or something. Got this strip down here. Put a border at the bottom. I think I might do. Possibly we could do with a piece of ephemera starting to come in to give us things to focus on. We have a writing space, number. Bringing this pattern back into it at the top will help match to that and that color. We can add the library card, try to make that level and over. It's beginning to feel part of this page. See what I've got in the way of napkins, I think. I have got some of that gold tissue paper that I've used before and that one has some writing on it. could put that on. This top corner is the place to put that and then I think all I want is something here. What I found was some napkin that I've made into vellum in a previous project but hadn't used and have cut out a couple of the butterflies to add to this side of the page. Notice the green kind of works with the turquoise the yellows work with the browns in here. I'm not sure if it needs another butterfly or... From another project, I've got these button clusters. What I've done is just quickly halve it and try that to fill up that space. And that to me works. That's quite a busy little pretty collage page. On this page, we either want to create a journaling spot on the page or a an additional pocket and of course because we've used certain materials on here we want to replicate coming across we have that bit of the napkin we could place a piece opposite looking at the materials we used before we did use some of this gold but we'll probably want to use a bit of that we have the end of the library card we've got an actual plant we could start to bring that in. Let's get some of this on. Along that bottom piece, I'm gonna see what I've got in the way of ephemera. That, and then a stamp, which brings in the stamps that have been used. I'm gonna bring some gold in, because we've already got some gold. Got a pretend label. Doesn't matter if it's straight or not, because I'll be bringing in some more bits and pieces anyway. I think I'll put a pocket down here somewhere, or something for a tag. Really whatever I put down here isn't going to matter because it's probably going to be mostly covered up. On this side we've got butterflies, on this side we don't have. I wonder if I've got any butterflies left to add. A big one, 
the biggest yeah i think and a small blue one because the edges of my book are quite organic i'm go actually going to sandpaper the edge rather than cut that can be just edged in the vintage photo round the page to make the corner pocket i've got one of the spare pages from when the book was pulled apart obviously at the moment it doesn't fit the color scheme of this page therefore i'm just going to stain it up it's now a slightly better fit it's not 100 percent but i will be okay with it I do want to add some hinging to this use cutaways to fold in half and make into hinging so that this stands slightly proud of that page before we put this on the page i take some of the stickiness off the page by using some baby powder and rubbing it over the surface very gently particularly where you've got 3d things that removes any stickiness that you may be experiencing from glues modge podge overruns anything like that and now i'm going to use the silicon glue because that's plasticized i will clip that into place while it dries while that pocket is being secured into place i have these beautiful tags from Emma's freebie. Using one of my spare pages, I'm going to strengthen them because they're only on copy paper and back with some stronger but coffee stained paper. Here's the three tags with the spare paper backing and then coffee stain backing on top of that, which has made them a little bit stronger. And all I've done is punch a hole through, added some of this twiny type ribbon and inked around the edge in vintage photo. On to the journaling prompt for this page. How would you describe your philosophy of life? I've written it more like bullet points. It's cyclical, therefore there will be both good times and bad things. This too shall pass. Make the most of the good times. Try to live in the present, not the past or the future. Live for every moment. Enjoy it, life is fleeting. Make the most of every situation. Travel as much as you can take risks nothing is gained by staying still nothing is a disaster do not fear life all that's left to do is put the tags into the pocket and that is our second page of the altered book completed if you have enjoyed this video please do all the youtubey things like share subscribe comment don't forget this is running as an event in the Facebook group. Details are in the description below. The printables that I'm using are also in the description below. And there's also the Creator Club, which is a separate, almost like Patreon type club. It runs monthly with a theme, different tutorials, different styles of journals. And I will see you next time.